glad you could join me today for Discovery Walk. Now, I've led a lot of groups of people out into the nature reserve right near the Helen Schuler Nature Centre. That means I get to see a lot of the local residents and sometimes I even get to find out where they live. So today I'd like you to come along with me and find out who's home. Let's go. Oh, look beneath my feet. These oblong droppings belong to deer. You can think of them as boxes of chocolate glossettes poured out onto the ground. The school children love to make silly remarks when I talk about deer droppings. Wow, there's more there and here. And along here, there's even more. Wow, there's definitely been deer about. You can tell it's quite recently because they're not all dried out. They do look a little bit glossy. Let's go and see if we can find some deer. We are in luck. Here is a group of five white-tailed deer. You can see the deer in the back flicking its tail as it cleans itself. You can see the thick white fur on the underside of the tail. You know, we often see small groups or herds of deer right in this area. They like to hang around right near the shrubs or trees for a quick escape of somewhere good to hide. Although most robins migrate over the winter flying as far away as Mexico and Guatemala, some of the American robins actually stay here throughout the winter in the snow. You see, it comes down to the decision of whether they have enough food. So in the winter, the robins will feed on berries that are on some of the shrubs in this area. And I've actually noticed in the spring, there have been robins up in some of the non-native Russian olive trees. Perhaps those are the least tasty and the last berries left for them to eat. But these robins, they must be excited to switch to their summer foods and find some of the insects emerging here. And perhaps they're even looking forward to some nice juicy worms. Let's head along our walk and see if we can find out if anyone else is home. You definitely hear a woodpecker and the starlings. There's one. I found one. We're heading along the path here and up in that tree is a flicker woodpecker. Every now and then you can hear it call. There it is. But why I'm coming here because one of our local residents lives in this tree. And I want to see if he's home. Let's have a look up in that hole. Oh, no, already out and about this morning. Perhaps another time we'll see it. Look, you can see the patterns of where different animals have walked and the indent is filling with melting water. I'm glad I've come to visit. The beavers are out, the whole family. Oh, it's rare that we capture this moment. Beavers have an early warning system. They slap their tail on the water. This protective parent was alerting his family that there were people 
walking closer on the other side of the bridge. Ah, it was good that those people realized and moved farther away. They retreated so that they didn't disturb the beaver's daily activities. Here's some old stumps. Look, they're pointed on the top. That's a telltale sign that a beaver felled them. But you can tell how old or long ago that was by noticing all the lichen growth on the top. Here's another little one that tickled their fancy many years ago. If you notice these trees behind me, they have wire wrapped around them. Years ago, some of the citizens here were worried that all of the cottonwood trees in the forest would get cut down by the beavers. So they had a number of volunteers come and wrap some of the trees along the riverbank to ensure that not all the trees would be felled. Oh, and look here. More evidence that beavers have been long-time residents here. Some old stumps again from where they cut the trees. There's a cottontail rabbit enjoying its breakfast. No doubt this rabbit is also glad to find some green shoots here on the ground. We sure are lucky to have a nature reserve right here in the city, in Lethbridge, to go running in like that couple or just explore and find out who's home. Thanks for coming along with me today as we walked the trails in Lethbridge. It was fun to find out which creatures were home here in the nature reserve. Hope you join me next week.